Delta Galloway Society, Barrett Homestead Farm, Asher Partners Incorporated, Iron Hill Farms, Mitchell Ledge Farm, Pineview Farm, New England Galloway Group, Anderson Hill Farm, and Chastain Brooks, Jr.
Good evening. I'd like to ask for a nice round of applause for these show people out here. Usually any show that I go to in that, to me, the hardest part is judging showmanship in that. And this class here, especially, we have so many darn good ones. You can start from this top right down to that bottom, and you've got quality show people in there. To me, the girl that wins this class down here is going to be champion showman. She is so natural. Her and her calf is so much at ease. When she stops that calf, it's there. She doesn't have to fidget with it in that. Excellent job of presenting that calf. Young lady coming in second, real strong contender for that position. Calf might be just a bad day today. He's just a little, she's just a little fidgety, that calf on there. On there, I just kind of like to see it a little smoother operation, a little more practice as far as that calf standing still whenever she stops that calf and so forth. But two major contenders out there in any breed for showmanship. If we get down into the three other people down here, it's just a matter of time and experience. They're all very good. They all have the right equipment that they're using. They all pay really good attention to the placement on those feet and that. Very nice class to start the show with. The placings for today's showmanship class First to entry 1394, Sophia Romanzi. She is also our champion showman. Second to Olivia Oatley, who will be our reserve champion. Third, entry 1400, Ashlyn Romani. Fourth, 8994, Briley Wade. And fifth, entry 1397, Daniel Romani. In the ring at this time is our lightweight steer class. We have two entries for this class.
for starting out the steer show out here. I think we got two very competitive calves out here. We're gonna go with the younger calf here. He just kind of overpowers that difference in that calf, even though there's only about a month's age difference in these calves and that. This calf that we're gonna use here for the lightweight champion here. He's just so long-sided. He's long and square in that rump. You look down that top, he's carrying a lot of thickness down over that top. He's clean up front. He's trimmed throughout that middle. And he's exceptionally wide as you watch him walk away. A lot of thickness in that right through, especially right through that stifle area. Very nice individual. Calf coming in second place. He's really stylish. He really catches your eye when you walk in the ring. He's got enough length of side to him in that. He's clean up front. He's got a lot of depth of body about him in that. He just gives up too much power to go any higher there today as far as performance in that. A very nice class of steers. The placings for lightweight steer first to Ethan Oatley and second to Daniel Romani. In the ring at this time are entries for heavyweight steer. We have two entries in this class. We have two really nice calves with a lot of differences in their style out here. We're gonna go ahead and use the black and white belly down here at this end down here. He's just got so much more power than the calf that's standing in the second place. 
He's long in his makeup. He's square in that hip. Carries that muscle real well down through that stifle in that. He's got a great spring of rib about him and a lot of depth of body, and he's fairly clean up front in that. Very nice, solid calf. Let me get into the solid Keller calf down here. He's a calf that you really have to admire, that length of body that he has. He's strong in that top line straight, very clean up front. His biggest problem to me right now today is he just needs more time. He's going to come into his own later on here. But two very competitive calves. The placings for heavyweight steer first to Briley Wade, second to Ashlyn Romani. In the ring, we will have entries for champion and reserve champion steer for today's show. Let's have a nice round of applause for our steer division. Just a few quick comments. Now go out and select my champion steer out here. Now, I think our two first place winners down here are very, very competitive in their own right. Very competitive. Uh, as far as looking at them today, we got the calf out of the first class here. His finish date's gonna be in November. We got the big calf here. His finish date's going to be this week. A uh, lot of similarities in these two calves. 
a lot of the same muscle patterns in these two calves. I'm going to go ahead and pick the calf that I think is ready right now. And there's not going to be any gambles about it here in the future. Now. Let's go with the big calf right here. It'll be the champion steer. <laughs> Young lady in the first division will be reserve champion. Great show. The champion steer for today's show, exhibited by Riley Wade. The reserve champion, exhibited by Ethan Oatley. Congratulations. In the ring at this time is our single entry for spring heifer calf. single entry calf out here to start out our heifer show but uh, one that's very solid one that could stand a lot more competition you look at the lines on this female she's strong on that top line she's got a lot of extension and that neck area coming out of those front shoulders and that if I was to change her in any way maybe like to lengthen her out a little bit from her hooks back to her pins but a very nice very useful correct type female The spring heifer calf was exhibited by Olivia Oatley. In the ring will be class 12 junior heifer calf. This will be a single entry.
another single entry in this class, but certainly one that uh, deserves to be in that first spot out here today. You really start to analyze this calf. You really kind of have to fall in love with her. She's got that power on that top line. She's got that great springer rib about her. She's deep in that body development on there. She's strong and she's deep in that rear flank back here. The thing that I like about her, I like that levelness from her hooks back to her pins in that rump. Very long rump calf. And then when you watch her walk away, she's got really tracks out there very wide. Very nice individual. We'll hope to see her back later. The junior heifer calf was exhibited by Holbrook Hill. Entering the ring, class 14, senior heifer calf. We have five entries for this.
to me, this is a really nice and very interesting class of females out here. Uh, when these animals first walked in the ring, I thought the second and third, man, we got a pair here. We can run with this class net. Then we get this calf that comes in here at the end, the last one in and that. Sure, she's the oldest calf in the class net, but she just puts everything together for me. She's got that size, that frame, and that, that growth about her and that. But yet she's got that cowy look about her. Look at that extension on her front end. Look how long-sided she is. If I was to change her in any way, might like to give her a little more muscle through that rear quarter and that. But she's got a lot of attributes out there that are really good. Second place heifer really follows the same type and pattern. Maybe a little more heavily conditioned than what that first place heifer is in that. But she's got that same length of side. She's straight in those lines. She's got that extension up through her front end in that. Two very nice females. Then we get down into the third place heifer. A heifer that you really like when she first walks in the ring. And then you start to study them broadside and that. Just gives up a little too much length on that size, on that side view and that to go any higher there today. But a very good, very useful, structurally correct type female. Very flashy when you look at her. Very nice individual. Then we come into a heifer down here that's uh, probably, she's not got the, uh, she's a little greener in her condition, a little greener in her makeup, but she's got all the right pieces there to be a nice brood cow in the future. She's got a lot of length of side, clean up in that front, might be a little bit short strided as far as when she moves out in that, but I think she'll make a nice individual in the future. We come down to the next animal down here. This is an animal that just kind of gives up too much performance here today to go any higher in placings than that. Very nice class, though. The placings for class 14 senior heifer calf. First, entry 2927 exhibited by Holbrook Hill. Second, entry 6876 exhibited by Ethan Oatley. This will also be the first junior place in this class. Third, Entry three, 1398, exhibited by Ashlyn Romani, which will be the second place in the junior class. Fourth, entry 2929, exhibited by Holbrook Hill. Fifth, entry 1194, exhibited by Andre Lemaistre. Class 17, late summer yearling heifer entering the ring, a single entry. In the ring at this time are the entries for champion and reserve champion heifer calf for today's show.
just a few quick comments and that I think we got the young calf down here out of the first class or so really sharp really stylish I think she's got I think she has a lot of future ahead of her maybe her day is not today in that but you really have to like the lines on this calf and that very feminine very stylish as I said you come into the dun colored calf a calf that's maybe a little more moderate in frame compared to some of the cattle in that but boy she's got that depth she's got that spring of rib and she's got a whale of a hip in her you come down into the senior calf a calf that won her class pretty easily in my mind from her size and scale compared to the other cattle in that class as I said if we were to come fault her I'd maybe like to give her just a little bit more muscle but certainly a big growth factor that a lot of people can use in their herd with that said I'm gonna go ahead and pick my champion The champion heifer calf for today's show, entry number 2930, exhibited by Holbrook Hill. The reserve champion heifer calf, entry number 6876, exhibited by Ethan Oatley. In the ring now, class 17, late summer yearling heifer, a single entry. We seem to be having a lot of these single entries in classes, but uh, let me tell you folks, there's a heifer that could really stand some more competition out here. Just kind of study her as she profiles there. Just so long-sided, she's deep in that body. She's got a really attractive front end on her neck. She's got some spring of rib, and she's got that big old square hip in her that I like. A very sound, useful type individual. The Class 17 lead summer yearling heifer exhibited by Sophia Romani. This will also be our intermediate champion.
In the ring is class 21 junior yielding heifer, three entries. I think we can have a heifer that comes to the top of this class pretty easily in my mind. Uh, her performance is, you know, above the other two animals in this class out here, but she's a good individual in her own right. She's got a lot of thickness down that top. She's got a great spring of rib about her, and she moves out on some feet and that fairly well for a heifer that size and that on there. Very nice individual. Then we get into the next two heifers. You can flip a coin which way you want it to go. I'm going to go with the deeper bodied heifer here, pound per pound. I think she's probably got a little better weight per day of age than what the third place heifer is. If you'd like, to, I'd maybe like to lengthen this heifer out, maybe just a tad bit, give her another rib length, and that maybe strengthen her up on that top line. But she's got so much depth of body in that. That's why I'm going to put her in second place. Third place animal. An animal that's maybe a little longer sided than the second place animal. Nice, trim, clean front end, and that just gives up on that muscle ability as the two heifers are placed above her. The placings class 21 junior yielding heifer first. Entry <coughs> 6943, exhibited by Olivia Oatley. Second, entry 1196, exhibited by Andre Lemaistri. Third entry, 1197, exhibited by Andre Lemaistri. Single entry for class 22, early junior yearling ever.
another female out here that you really liked her depth of body, her muscling in that, very thick down that top, through that rear quarter net. If I was to change this heifer in any way, I'd really like to free her up on that front end. She might be just a tick too straight for me, the way she's moving out here tonight, but a uh, lot of good, useful things about her. I love the spring of rib, the depth of body. She carries herself very well through that rear flank. And she moves out good on her rear legs. I just like to free her up on that front end out here this evening. Class 22 early, junior yearling heifer, exhibited by Holbrook Hill. In the ring at this time, the entries for junior and reserve junior champion. For our junior champion down here, we're gonna go ahead and use young ladies heifer down here. A little more extension, a little more freeman of movement in that front end out there. Both of these heifers got a lot of depth of body about them. They're both equal in their length of side and that. Just a little freer moving heifer. So you'll be champion heifer and you'll be reserve champion. The junior champion today, entry 6943, exhibited by Olivia Oatley. Reserve junior champion, entry number 2928, exhibited by Holbrook Hill. In the ring at this time, class 26, early senior heifer, we have three entries.
I got another heifer that comes to the top of the class pretty easy in my mind. She's just a big, soggy heifer. This is what we're looking for when we're looking for brood cow potential. Look at that springer rib on her, that depth of body. She moves very well on those feet and legs. She's got enough extension up front. I like the way her head comes out of those shoulders and that. And I like that thickness as she comes down that top squareness in her rump. And she carries that thickness very well down through the stifle muscle. Very nice individual. If we get down into the next two females here, I'm gonna go with the heifer. It's probably a little deeper body, a little more pattern like the first place heifer. She's got great springer ribs. She's got enough extension up front. If I was to change her in any ways, I'd maybe like to straighten out those rear legs on her just a little bit and that make her move just a little bit freer. We get down into the next heifer down here. It's a heifer that's given up some performance compared to the other animals above her. I really like to change the way she's walking. She's very stiff on those rear legs right now. And she needs to be a little more muscle. She's tapered from those hooks back to the pins. Just doesn't quite have the muscle as the other two heifers placed above her. The placings for class 26, early senior heifer. First entry 6946, exhibited by Victoria Oatley. This will also be first in the junior show. Second, entry 5079, exhibited by Matt Fry. And third, entry 1198, exhibited by Andre Lemaistre. In the ring, class 27, late two-year-old heifer, a single entry. Another single entry in this division out here this evening in that, look at the length of rump on that female she's got. She's really long, she's square, she's deep bodied, right through that rear flank in that. She moves out pretty good on her feet and legs. If I was to change her in any way, I'd maybe like to smooth her up, give her a little more extension in that front end, clean up that brisket area a little bit down there, but she's really got the makings of a real brood cow in the future. The class 27 late two-year-old heifer exhibited by Holbrook Hill. Entering the ring will be class 28. This is early two-year-old heifer, three entries.
we got three very nice and very useful type females out here in the ring and that. Uh, there's one thing that separates them all apart. And the young man's down here that we're going to start out. She's just a big, broody heifer. She's got great springer ribs. She's got a lot of width down that top. She's got great depth of body. Big old square hip that's loaded with lots of muscle in that. If I was to do anything, I'd like to clean that heifer up front, maybe just a tick in that. But boy, she is brood cow potential. And she's carrying a calf in her and that. That's the important part to me right now. I make my living from raising cattle and these cows have got to be in production. And that second place animal, really long sided, very feminine up front on there. You like her lines, you like her balance about her and that. Sure, she may not be quite as thick down that top or as in that rear as that first place animal, but a very nice, useful type individual. We come into third place animal here. It's a heifer that kind of just gives up a little bit as far as in her movement. You watch this female walk, she's a little easier, not quite as easy moving as the other two females placed above her. Maybe she gives up a little bit of size and substance but certainly a very sound, useful type individual that would fit into a lot of programs. Very nice class. The placings for class 28, early two-year-old heifer. First, entry 29-25, exhibited by Holbrook Hill. Second, entry 13-93, exhibited by Sophia Romani. Third, entry 11-99, exhibited by Andre Lemaistri. In the ring will be entries for senior and reserve senior champion.
This is one of those classes where you'd like to take and piece them apart and make that one good final animal for you. But I think we've got three exceptional females out here in that. Uh, the young heifer down here to start with in that very long-sided, very smooth inner pattern. Does she give up a little bit of muscling compared to the other heifers? Maybe. She might be a little more over-conditioned than what some of the animals are in that. Second place animal down here. The heifer has got a lot of body about her, a lot of depth about her. I'd really like to clean up that front end, especially down through that brisket, make her look a little more feminine for the part. Come down to the big heifer down here in the end. I like her upheadedness in that. I'd maybe like to clean up that brisket a little bit, but she's got so much style and mass about her in that. She's going to go ahead and be the senior champion heifer. The senior champion for today's show, entry 2925, exhibited by Hobook Hill, reserve senior champion 6946, exhibited by Victoria Oatley.
just a few quick comments on this heifer divisions and before we pick our grand champion female here. The calf, I really like this calf down here ever since I saw her. She's very soft to look at. She's got plenty of muscle down her top and down into that rib and that. I think she's got a real future ahead of her and that. Coming to the next heifer here, very sharp, very stylish, very angular in the front end. Lots of long-sided heifer, long-sided heifer there. And she's got enough depth of body to her for her size and age at this point in that very attractive female. Come down into the next heifer down here, a heifer that's really kind of useful. She may not be the prettiest heifer out here in the group, but she's solid. She's got a lot of depth of body about her. She's got a great spring of rib, and she moves out here fairly free in that about her. Come down to the big heifer down here. I think I've made enough comments about her. You really like the half left. You really like her mass and her style about her. Such deep bodied, great spring of rib. I'd like to see her move up maybe just a little freer on those feet and legs. But uh, I think we got an excellent lineup out here. And I'd like to ask for a round of applause for these exhibitors. The grand champion female for today's belted show, entry number 2925, exhibited by Holbrook Hill. Reserve champion female, entry 6943, exhibited by the Oatley Farm.
in the ring at this time we have the entries for the reserve champion female for the junior show For reserve champion female, I'm going to go ahead and use the heifer down here at this end. She really follows the pattern of the champion heifer. It's already standing out there. She's long, she's square in her muscle pattern, and that I really think we ought to keep the two of them together. Now, two very nice females. So. The reserve champion female for today's junior show, entry number 1393, exhibited by Sophia Romani.
in the ring at this time, class 35, Spring Bocal. Again, for today's show, our judge is Mr. C.J. Furlong, owner and operator of C.J. Cattle Company in Mountjoy, Pennsylvania. Some nice young bull calves out here to stop off, start out our bull show in that. Uh, I really like this calf that we're leading out here with right now. He's got the style, he's got the balance, he's got that growth look about him to me when I look at him. That He's got plenty of extension up through that front end. He's strong and straight in that top line, level in those lower lines and that about him. And I really like the way he tracks out. He's got a lot of thickness as we exhibit him walking from the rear net. Very nice individual. Second calf really kind of looks about the same type of pattern, maybe just a little bit tighter in his makeup and that. He might be a little thicker down that top. I just don't see that growth and extension in his front end like I see in the calf that won that first class. Yeah, but very nice, useful individual. And then we get down here to the baby calf. Baby calf's got some competition out here today. Let's not take anything away from this calf. The calf's got that look about him when he holds that head up. It's kind of like when I look at calves at home in the pasture. Here I am. You better come take a look at me. You know, and I think he's got that potential. He's going to give those two top calves a run for their money when he gets a little more time, a little more development. But a very nice set of calves. The placings class 35 spring bull calf first entry 6944 exhibited by Olivia Oatley second entry 6945 exhibited by Olivia Oatley and third entry 6948 exhibited by Victoria Oatley. Class 36 junior bull calf we have a single entry. got a single entry out here in this January bull calf class. You have to like his depth of body. I like that squareness and the hip about him and that. I'd maybe like to clean him up a little bit down through that throat and brisket area. Maybe give him just a little straighter rear leg and that. But he's got a lot of useful things about him. Yeah. 
the junior boat calf for today's show, exhibited by Matt Fry. Class 38, senior bow calf. We have two entries. We have an interesting class of two bull calves out here. Uh, we're going to go with the calf down here. It's got maybe just a little more style, a little more balance about them. I like that extension he shows from that neck coming out of those shoulders and that. And I really like the strength, his strength in that rear quarter. He's level and he's long from those hooks to the pins. He's got enough Bethel body about him and he moves out fairly nice on those legs and that. Coming into the second place calf out here, he's a calf that maybe weight per day of age, he might be a little bit heavier than the class winner, but he just doesn't quite put the package together for me. I'd like to clean him up front a little bit, make him a little trimmer, trimmer up through that front end, maybe give him just a little bit straightness on those rear legs as far as his movement and that. But certainly a very good performance type individual. The placings for class 38, senior bow calf. First entry 13, 95, exhibited by Sophia Romani. Second entry 12, 02, exhibited by Andre Lemaestri. In the ring at this time are entries for champion and reserve champion bow calf.
the champion bull calf for today's show. Entry 1395, exhibited by Sophia Romani. Reserve champion bull calf. Entry 6944, exhibited by Olivia Oatley. Class 41, late summer yearling bull. We have a single entry. Single entry here in this July class snap, but certainly one that could stand a lot more competition. There's just so many things you have to like about him. He's clean, neat and clean in that front end. Got a lot of extension coming out of that shoulders and that long sided, long hip on there. And he's got plenty of muscle carrying down through that top and through that stifle. Certainly an individual will be interesting to see how he shows up in the rest of the competition. The late summer yearling bull, entry number 6949, exhibited by Victoria Oatley. This will also be our junior champion bull. Class 48, early senior bull, a single entry. Another very attractive individual out here on our bull show. Uh, you like the hat, you like his style, his balance about him. Very easy moving on his feet and legs and that big old long hip in him and that. And uh, you know, he's in his working clothes out there right now as far as breeding cattle and he's bred some cattle and that. And to me, he's kind of in the ideal condition for this stage of the game and that. A very sound, good, useful type individual. Class 48, early senior bowl, entry 68-78 was exhibited by Ethan Oatley. Class 49, two-year-old bowl, we have a single entry.
Another single entry out here, but boy, you gotta like the length of side this bull has. He has plenty of extension up front. Probably one of the greener conditioned bulls that we've had in the show today, but he's really long-sided in that. Moves fairly well on his feet and legs as far as coming and getting around the show ring out here. He's certainly something that could stand a little more competition. Class 49, two-year-old bull. It was exhibited by Andre Lemaistre. Class 50, three-year-old bull. We have a single entry. Another single entry out here. Uh, it's a bull that's probably moving maybe a little bit slower around the ring than what I like to see for a breeding animal. But you know, you have to admire him. He's got some length of side in there. He's got plenty of thickness when we view him from the rear net. I just like to free him up a little bit in those feet and legs and get him traveling around the ring a little bit easier in it. Nice individual though. Class 50, three-year-old bull, exhibited by Andre Lemaistre. We'll have in the ring at this time entries for senior champion and reserve senior champion bull. As I look at these bulls out here for our senior champion, I think there's two that follows the pattern pretty much in the same style and balance on there. So we're gonna go ahead and make the first bull down here is gonna be the senior champion bull, and the third bull down here is gonna be reserve champion bull. The senior champion bull exhibited by Ethan Oatley, reserve senior champion bull exhibited by Andre Lemaistre. In the ring at this time, we'll have entries for grand champion and reserve grand champion bull for today's Belted Galloway show.
before I go ahead and pick the champion bowl, and then I'd just like to make a few comments. First of all, I'd like to thank the committee for inviting me to evaluate the cattle today. I've enjoyed it. Um, usually on the other end, fitting the cattle back in that line, as a lot of you people know, but cattle is my business. That's what I make my living from in that. And I'm trying to select cattle that's structurally sound, they move good on their feet and legs, got adequate size for their age, and they got a lot of muscle expression about them in that. Uh, like I said, it's been a real pleasure and honor for me to be here today. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and pick my champion and reserve champion bull. The grand champion bull for today's show, entry 818, Ethan Oatley, reserve champion bull, entry 819, Victoria Oatley. Congratulations.
in our pair of weanlings class. First goes to Oatley Farms, second goes to Sophia Romani, third to Oatley Farms, and fourth to Andy uh, to Matt Fry. We have our Prados of Dam in the ring. Prados of Dam in the ring. In the last class, fourth place went to Andy LeMater.
results from this class are first to Ethan Oatley, second to Sophia Romani, third to Holbrook Hill Farm, fourth to Olivia Oatley, fifth to Holbrook Hill Farm, and sixth to Andy LeMater. Those of you keeping a book, 634152. Breeders Heard, Breeders Heard followed by Best Six Head. Breeders Heard followed by Best Six Head. Our breeders heard first goes to Olivia Oatley. Second to Ashlyn Romani and third to Andy Lemater. Before we do our best six head, we'd like to call Mike, let's get all the best six head in the ring. We're looking for Oatley, Romani, and Lemater. Before we ask CJ to place this class, I'm going to ask uh, Mike Allen of Anderson Hill Farm to present the Richard Anderson Award. Every year, the farm likes to give a, an award away to an individual who uh, has dedication and love to the breed, like Mr. Anderson did. And this year, we'd like to uh, give it to C.J. Furlong. This three year's recipient of the Anderson Award for Excellence and Support of the Breed goes to C.J. Ferlin, our judge for this year. And many of you know, C.J. spent a lot of years showing these belty cattle. So 
I think we all should be very honored that CJ is with us today to judge. At this time, our beef superintendent, Dustin James, will present the Premier Breeder and Premier Exhibitor Award to Oatley Farms. Congratulations. And our best six head for this year's 2019 Belt of Galloway show goes to Oatley Farms. That concludes our 2019 Belt of Galloway show. I'd like to thank all the exhibitors for their participation today and our judge CJ Furlong for his placing of our cattle. <laughs>